saw both heavy handed. There's that wide sweeping right again from Oscar. Championship featherweight. And he's standing right there. For now. For now. You mentioned something about more dimensions from Valdez and that amateur pedigree. Well, Savania only had two amateur fights. That's, that's why you're able to see the, the movement and the creativity from Valdez. More dimensions. Lopez on tour. Behavior of a champion. Yes. That's right, Teddy. Behavior of a human being. We are seeing an emerging, blossoming breakthrough star here in Oscar Valdez, a champion at 26 years old. Legs, one leg going forward. Valdez uses his legs a lot of ways. We'll see it right now. I'll tell you, when Oscar digs in with that left hand body, he just opens up with everything he can offer. Like I said earlier, both these guys throw punches with bad intentions. Another body shot, then punch with a right hand. Valdez doesn't throw any take it easy punches. Everything he throws to do down. Down! Down! Knock down score. Five, six, seven, eight. You okay? You okay? You okay? Come to me. Come to me. He got caught moving away with the right hand with his hands down. Very incredulous to us not even asking the question, are you okay? You're moving away. You know, he's been showing the dimensions that we're talking about. What is it? Not to your advantage to have that dimension. When you move off to the side with your hands down, where the opponent can catch you on the way out. He got caught on the way out. And he comes in with the right hand. Look right. at the challenger on the attack. Oscar Valdez in trouble here at the end of the round. What a round for Genesis Cervania. They told him, you got overconfident, you walked away with your hands down and you crossed your feet. That's when he connected and that's what happened. Just stay alert. put down in round five. That is why you see the dueling 10-8 rounds in the middle of Teddy Atlas.
continues with Cervania just looking for that one big shot as Valdez boxes his way to a lead on Teddy's scorecard. The champ returning home here to Tucson, looking to defend things. And the beginning of this round tells us we may be in store for a little something different here in this final. Welcome to the round as he lets loose. Genesis says, come on, bring a little more than that, my friend. Stalking and a right hand does land there. Again, pull it out. Better correct that. Pull it out straight in front. Good exchange. <laughs> well, this is going to be sensational stuff down the stretch. They, they, don't know, they don't know anything, these guys, except fight. Chasing <laughs> 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 with a right hand. So then he was waiting on his opportunity. Waiting a little bit too long. Back to the body that time, and they will break. 45 seconds remain here with the title on the line. You were wondering if Zabani is running off fumes? Just look at that last close inside, that last moment inside. He got in close, he didn't punch. He needs to rest. As they're looking for their hometown champ to retain things here in Tucson. For the winner, by way of unanimous decision, and still WBO featherweight champion of the world, Puro Nogales, señores, Oscar.